It's palletful packs time! This has been sitting here for a couple of days because I've been trying to finish up other videos and it's driving me crazy! So we are just getting into it. I can't handle it anymore. Oh, oh, we have a sticker! That's new! We've never gotten a sticker with palletful packs before and it's a golden retriever. I have a golden retriever. Did you see that video? Link that up there. Yeah, awesome. I'm liking that. Feels like a really heavy duty sticker too. Oh my gosh, I see what's inside and I I just can't even contain myself. Whoa, the Daler Rowney Aquafine watercolor ink. Do you see this? I don't have this. And I want it. And now I have it. <laughs> I'm so excited. That sentence didn't really make sense in the long run. All right, so four colors, it looks like. Wow. Oh, this is going to be way, 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 way fun. All right, I'm a little overexcited here, but that's okay. Hey, another one of these. Little cheap palette thing. These are nice to get because if you're only getting this box, like, for the first time and you don't have any other supplies, at least you have something that you can use to put your paint in or if you don't have an empty palette at the time you know why would we have an empty palette because <laughs> we clean up nope we don't clean up anyway so those are cool little brush a silver crystal nice little flat brush wow oh okay they're celebrating their fourth year and there's their dog so that's cool. If you want to pause and read that, I'm going to read that as well. So that is nice. I guess that's Betsy. And our cheat sheet. Ta-da! You can pause and read that. I'm going to read that in a minute. Okay. Hot press. A Yupo. Cold press. So looks like we usually get big paper. And this time we just get these little samples. I suspect that's because these, hi, yeah, these are probably expensive, but I don't know. I already have all these. I don't mind getting more, but I was kind of looking forward to doing something on a big piece of paper with these awesome watercolor inks. So I'll just pull out my own paper when I want to do that. Yeah, those are $8.20 each. The brush is $4.20. $1.99 each for these little pups and $1.99 for the Upo. Got that. 99 cents for the paint tray. Let's get into this. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I was so excited about these supplies that I forgot to tell you guys the prompts. They are history, escape, stuffed animal, and dream. We're going to have to do some thinking on that. Maybe do separate stuff so we can try out each of these papers. So I pull out two sheets of the cold press paper, a sheet of the Yupo, and a sheet of the hot press because I figured two cold press is best since it's what I'm used to working on. And I start with the prompt for history. You can see me just doing some sketching in there. And this time I am sketching in my stars. Did you watch my last video? I didn't have very much luck with stars in my last video. <laughs> so trying to sketch them in this time. And then I mask them with this PBO drawing gum. And that kind of turns into a disaster later. Turns out that this paper does not like masking fluid at all. And it tears it up. So I tell you a bit later in the video too not to use it. And I'm telling you now, do not use at least this brand of masking fluid on this paper. I have great luck with it on B and Arches and boy, any other paper I've used it on so far. But not this paper. And it was dry when I tried to pull it up. But... I don't know. I didn't have any luck with it. And here I'm drawing a cute little camper. I love campers. You can see I'm trying to use the ink and get a dark color like a black, but this dark purple was as good as I could get and it was actually just, just fine. I get to try out the ultramarine pink here and in person it like really looks purple. So I know in this video it definitely does look more pink tinted. I don't know, I just kept seeing purple in my head when I was working with it. So, it, it's ultramarine pink. I guess we'll just go with that. <laughs> and I like my little striped camper. You can see this is where I'm taking that masking fluid off. Things are just ripping. It's a disaster. So I just move on to this little teddy bear. This is for a stuffed animal. 
And this is on hot pressed paper, and I want to use more of that ultramarine pink. I'm kind of intrigued with the color just because it's one I've never heard of and I want to try it some more. So I've decided the whole animal can just be ultramarine pink holding a cute little red heart. And you can see how opaque that red really is in this one. And for Dream, I just wanted something abstract and fun. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, so that one's still super wet. You saw me just finish that. This one's disappointing. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm sad. All right, so this was disappointing. The paper cannot handle any masking fluid, so don't use it. At least not the PBO, which I've had great luck with and others. And I saw how nicely the red went on, and it seems very thick, very kind of opaque. And it is a cadmium red hue. So I need to look up more about these paints, because then when I went to use the blue and stuff, it was really transparent and kind of streaky on this paper. So it didn't cover like I thought it would after using the red. Same with the purple, which is actually a ultramarine pink. It didn't cover like the red did. So it's probably something different in the pigments. I'm not really sure. I, they are pigment-based ink, so they should be pretty light fast. But anyway, this is what I have. History. There's nothing more historic than our American flag here in the United States. Stuffed animal. This one's pretty sad, and I probably might kind of cheat later and fine line it because it just looks silly as is. Escape. The way I escape is I go camping. So here's a cute little camp trailer. And I thought Dream could just be this really lovely abstract, and it was kind of fun to use that on the Yupo paper because Yupo paper is just kind of free-flowing. I was not really liking these inks on, I don't know, maybe not on this paper or not in this application. So I might pull out my B paper and give it a try just in a little bit more abstract way. I don't have a lot of time. I'm actually leaving town again. I've actually left town a couple of times that I haven't told you guys about just because my videos were fine and there was nobody to, but anyway. I'm supposed to leave town here in a minute, so maybe I will pull out the B paper and just do something kind of super quick and abstract just to see what these might do on different paper. Anyway, I don't also use much hot press paper. So this little bear is on the hot press paper and that was a really bad line. It's kind of interesting to use it on hot press. I think that it could be really fun on hot press more in that kind of manner. I'm gonna to have to be careful with that because you guys know Yupo, things just don't dry on them. It could take days, weeks, months, centuries. <laughs> anyway. I'm, I'm exaggerating, obviously, but trying to put some stitching in here. This cute little dude. He's much cuter now. There, all better. So here are my cute little drawings. Well, I did the prompts, but you can see the mess that the masking fluid made here. And you can't get it all off because it just tears the paper. So I just kind of left some of the paper down because we would lose our star shape otherwise. And yeah, I decided to pull out B paper and just jump right into it and see what I could do. So I'm mixing the colors right on the paper. I put the red in, got to take it out. It's just too strong. And it's okay kind of when I mix it with the blue to make the purple. And then I try and put it in the camper. And again, it's too strong. I have to pull it back out. Oh, it's just a mess. So I decide mixed media here is the best. And I pull out my liner to finish it up. All right. Ta-da. <laughs> here it is. And... I just love the sticker. Uh, anyway, I obviously don't know how to use these. They are a mystery to me. I can't figure it out, even on this paper. Now this red, again, was super opaque on this paper, and all the others were not. Maybe the yellow was a little bit, but... So I couldn't use the red. You saw when I put the red on, I actually had to take it back off because it just didn't match these other colors. I have a lot of work to do research here because I was really excited to get these and I really want to be able to use them. I thought they would be right up my alley with like my loose flowy style that I want to kind of achieve like I did with this truck here. If you missed this video, I'll link that up there and hopefully in the description box below as well. So I thought, oh, these will be great because I can do this kind of style with that. And I kind of tried that with this. And yeah, I'm limited on colors. Granted, I can make a lot of colors with these, but it just didn't work like I thought. So yeah, I've got work to do. I'm still very happy with this box. 
Like, I think this was really fun. Some bigger paper would have been nice to try, but the brush was great. It was tiny paper to work on with the brush, but at least it was a small flat. And I added in my little liner for this in the B paper, which, yeah, it's just extra, just so I could see what the heck was going on. I don't know, if you guys know more videos, I can look them up too, but if you happen to know some really good videos on like how to get the best use out of these, would you please let me know in the comments below? I would really appreciate that because I just feel like these could be awesome. I'm just not feeling it. Like I'd much rather pull out my core watercolors at this point or any of the others <laughs> and try those instead. But these are supposed to be nice, so please help. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you put up with my rambling because <laughs> there was plenty of that. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe if you like art subscription unboxings and some watercolor because that's basically the focus hello, of this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great weekend. Or week? I don't know when this video is coming out. Have a great week. Have a great few days. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> you hear that? I have a cat in a box. And he's scratching his ear. Oh, that's so funny. Something I don't have. Yes. I still have a cat in a box, a new box this time, making more noise right beside me. Gotta love cats. I need a spatula. Oh wait, here, there's a spatula right there. Oh yeah. Now to keep the cats out of it. Well, uh, I put this in the oven to dry it because my son stole my hair dryer like a year and a half or two years ago to make a coal forge. <laughs> I haven't gotten it back. I don't even know if it still lives. So I don't recommend that. It, uh, I only put it on, on the lowest temperature my oven would go, which was 170 degrees for five minutes. And it started to smell weird and I got these marks that kind of sucked the paper dry right there too, which is to be expected. So yeah, don't put your paintings in the oven. Don't do what I do. I did say in many of my videos, you could watch my videos to learn what not to do. That's one of them. No oven.